everyone. Good evening, Jasmine. Good evening. We welcome you to the handover of donations for the Life the World Giving Machines. My name is Jairus Sakino. And I am Jasmine Wakolo. Together with Jairus, we will be your hosts this evening. Joining us this evening via Zoom are Elder Daniela and Sister Anita Wakolo, Elder Stephen and Sister Susan Bangeter, and Elder Yun Juan and Sister Bon Kyung Ko Che of the Philippines Area Presidency. Also with us are Elder Carlos Savillo and Brother Jairus Perez from Latter-day Saint Charities. Our friends Eric and Rona Tai, Chantal Vedela, Sia Vigor, as well as our partners, Father Anton Pascual from Cayetas, Manila, Ms. Carly Snyman and Ms. Marga Baula, UNICEF Philippines, and General Victor Bayani from Hero Foundation. Welcome everyone! Since we are still observing safety protocols, we are bringing this program to you on Facebook. We are grateful that technology can bridge this distance between us together. That's right, Jasmine. But hopefully, our friends will still feel our love, even if it's a virtual event, right? Yes. And to continue with our program, even though we have been doing the Light the World celebration for five years now, we would like to refresh your memory about what it is. Joining us, our good friends Eric and Rona Tai, who will help explain Light the World to all of us. Everyone, please welcome Eric and Rona Tai. Thank you very much, Jairus. And uh, it's an honor to be able to introduce this program that has been changing the lives of many. Each Christmas, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints celebrates the birth and life of Jesus Christ through our Light the World celebration. In this celebration, we invite all people to follow the example of Jesus Christ, the Light the World by giving and caring for individuals one by one throughout the month of December. Yes, part of the Light the World celebration is the giving machines. As you may know, these giving machines have become a staple of Light the World for over the past three years. Plans were in place to expand to even more locations. However, due to concerns raised by the COVID-19 pandemic, the church has decided to postpone all giving machines until 2021. Although the experience will be different this year, the groups and individuals served by your charity partners are still in need of relief. So we do encourage you to be just as generous this year, if not more so. So let's take a look back at 2019 as we remember how our giving machines brought happiness and smiles to Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines, and Hero Foundation, as well as to others and those who selflessly gave to those who needed. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints celebrates the birth and life of Jesus Christ through the Light the World initiative. The initiative asks people to follow the example of Jesus Christ, the light of the world, by caring for individuals one by one throughout the month of December. And these giving machines are a wonderful opportunity that will allow many to come and in their own way, in a small amount or a little larger amount, to purchase something that will immediately be given away. Please understand that there is not a single centavo that will be applied to administrative expenses. Every donation, 100%, will be given to those in need. Five, four, three, two, one. And there they are. To the three wonderful organizations that are here today representing the great work that you do with HERO, with Caritas, and with UNICEF. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints links arms with you in this great enterprise. Tell your friends and families about this very important uh, advocacy. And this is one of the many things that we do. And as part of our uh, journey, this is going to be uh, helping a lot of people, definitely. Youth, children, and teens, we should not underestimate our ability to give. And I'm so happy that we get to be a part of this giving machines campaign and how it's accessible to everyone to touch the lives of people in need one by one and i would encourage everyone to donate you don't have to donate a lot either little a lot it's all your choice all the money goes to helping children and i just hope that this uh, by this opportunity we can brighten their day 
you can make a purchase online with your phone if you download the Lazada app. When you pull up the app on your phone, you will see three opportunities to provide or to participate in this giving process. Okay, she's chosen the Caritas Manila app. And as we scroll down the app, we see different opportunities for purchase, such as an earthquake go bag, a three days of food for a family, a medicine kit, college book and supplies, and the list goes on and on. The list goes on and on. This is an inspiration coming from him. This should unify all of us and uh, makes us understand that uh, if we are with God, nothing can go between. There is no wall, there is no separation. This partnership for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is uh, very valuable. It's the embracing of one friend to another. But this illustrates how we are one as we our brothers and sisters, we truly believe we are one in this cause of helping one another because we love our Savior Jesus Christ. And I know that through this beautiful campaign here, uh, the giving machines, we're able to, to give and it's also the Zada, having it, you don't have to travel anywhere. We can help those that are, that are sick, afflicted, and those that really need things more than us. given this chance to tell this advocacy through the Light the World Giving Machines, um, one by one, one orphan at a time. But what I'm very appreciative of, of this particular partnership, is very collaborative po ang, uh, ang church with all of us. Very inclusive, tinatanong po kami. And um, I'm inviting every children to, um, to support and donate um, for the giving machine, but I don't want to call it giving machine. I want to call it magic machine because it's like magic that we can um, bless families' life instantly. Please come here in Chinama, fourth floor near Cinema One, and our vending machines will be located here. And try it for yourself. Let's all light the world one by one. May we continue to light the world through the light of the world, even Jesus Christ, by touching and impacting lives, individuals and families, one by one. That is the best way of lighting the world. And God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Light the World will continue the invitation to transform Christmas into a season of service. It's a worldwide movement to touch hearts and change lives by doing the things Jesus did. Feeding the hungry, comforting the lonely, visiting the sick and afflicted, and showing kindness to everyone. Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Light the World is the perfect way to light let our light shine and his light shine brightly. Each year during the Christmas season, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints makes a monumental effort to spread the message and mission of Light the World. However, you can do it all this year by thinking about who you can serve each day. I hope each of us can follow the example of Jesus Christ, not just during this time of gift giving, but each day to share with us what the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has been doing these past few months amid the pandemic, we would like to welcome Brother Jairus Perez, who manages the efforts of Latter-day Saint charities throughout the country. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Though it has been um, eight months since the start of the pandemic, the dreaded COVID-19 continues to threaten the health and safety of individuals and families. To help relieve the suffering of people across the world, Latter-day Saints Charities, the humanitarian arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 
participated in a global response to the pandemic. By far, the largest humanitarian response ever by the church, Larry Day St. Charity's relief efforts have reached more than 150 countries to date, providing food, hygiene kits, and protective equipment to healthcare workers, government agencies, military, hospitals, and many other communities around the world. In the Philippines, Latter day Saints charities' COVID 19 relief efforts have reached not only local government units, government agencies, and health institutions, but also the lo local communities at the grassroots level. Through our partners, the Philippine Navy Na Na Naval Reserve Command Multi Sectoral Linkaging Committee Against COVID 19 and the Ladan Kapatid Foundation Incorporated. Millions of families from different parts of the Philippines have received hygiene kits that included face shields, bottle of isopropyl alcohol, and washable face masks produced by Beehive Clothing Philippines. In early March, realizing the gravity of the pandemic, the Philippine Navy, Naval Reserve Command, now doing frontliner duty, manning checkpoints, doing border patrols. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Latter-day Saint Charities opened their hearts and made a substantial donation of PPEs not only to the Philippine Navy but to other government institutions such as the PNP, OCD, Office of the President, to the media, TV5 Alagang Kapatid Foundation, LGUs in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The funding comes from contributions by ordinary members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. One thing unique in Latter-day Saint Charities is that every centavo, every dollar, is actually given as a charity. The administrative cost is handled by volunteer members of the church and even employees of the church. So every dollar that has been contributed goes actually to the actual project. I am wearing an example of a mask. This was sold in the Philippines by our Beehive team. And uh, this type of mask, together with uh, shields and protective gears, have been sent to uh, other areas. Our partnership has gone a long way already. Marami na po kami na undertake ng mga relief missions and natutuwa naman yung Navy leadership. There's one good thing brought about by this COVID-19 pandemic. It is rich, it recharged, it revived the Filipino Bayanihan spirit. But somehow, we have the confidence to face our Maker and proudly tell Him that we have done our humble share of alleviating hunger, calming hearts, and giving hope. And we can, we can continue to do so because the Latter-day Saints Charities has our back and is again trusting us with thousands 
of life-saving hygiene kits and masks. The amazing thing in, in, in what we go through with uh, for pandemics like this is that it breaks down any barrier of, of the religious affiliation, race, color, creed. Uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints through its humanitarian arm, the LDS Charities, uh, we have uh, assisted 57 nations in 57 countries, again specifically about this pandemic. We are very much grateful for Latter-day Saint Charities for always extending help to everyone, regardless of race and religion. Absolutely. It is really important that we help each other as we address the challenges we have right now. People need to know that even in 2020, there's still hope. And speaking of hope, we'd like to invite Ms. Chantal Videla to talk about our next video entitled, Hope Shines Bright. These past few months have been difficult for a lot of people. Some are hopeless, just waiting for 2020 to end. But we know that even in these circumstances, we can end 2020 on a positive note. Let's all watch this video on how to find hope amid our current situation. 2020. A year full of trials. Heartache. Confusion. fear. Thankfully, 2020 is almost over. However, what if we didn't just wait for it to be over? What if we ended 2020 on a positive note? 2,000 years ago, people found hope in a star. This Christmas, let's help each other find hope in a text or a tag or a not-so-random act of Christ-like kindness. Let's get together, even if getting together looks completely different than it used to. Let's end 2020 by doing the things Jesus himself did. Let's feed the hungry, visit the lonely, help those in need. Let's take him at his word when he said, ye are the light of the world. Go to lighttheworld.org and find simple ways to make this the most meaningful Christmas ever. Get daily prompts right to your device. Watch the majesty of his birth. Study his words in the Holy Scriptures. Talk with us about what they mean and why they matter. And let's show the world and ourselves that even in one of the darkest years of our lives, the light of hope still shines bright. When Jesus Christ was born, angels proclaimed, On earth, peace, goodwill toward men. This December, this promise remains the same. As we love and serve each day the way Jesus did, we can end 2020 on a positive note. And there are so many ways you could do that, right, Jasmine? That's right, Jairus. This is why we're all here today. We would like everyone to know that even if we might not have the chance of donating to the giving machine this year, we can still continue the gift of giving and the opportunity to serve. We are blessed to once again partner with Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines, and Hero Foundation. Caritas Manila is inspired by scripture to serve the world's poor, vulnerable, dispossessed, and marginalized, while UNICEF Philippines works to promote and protect the rights of every Filipino child. And Hero Foundation honors a military who were killed or totally incapacitated by ensuring that their children have a bright future through education. As we mentioned, even if the situation this year would not allow for giving machines to be placed in malls and public places, Latter-day Saint Charities, the humanitarian arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 
will still be giving each organization a generous donation in order to help with their current projects and initiatives. To start off, may we call on Elder and Sister Wakolo to present the check to Caritas Manila. On behalf of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we present this check to Caritas Manila, represented by Father Anton Pascal, to help them in their efforts to provide relief to those most in need among us. Thank you, Caritas Manila, for helping light the world. Now, may we request Elder and Sister Banker to present the check to UNICEF Philippines. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jasmine. On behalf of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it's our pleasure to present this check to UNICEF Philippines, represented here today by Ms. Carly Snyman. This is presented to help with projects that they have that, where they continue to do their noble work of helping to protect families in Filipino children. Thank you, UNICEF Philippines for helping light the world by caring those who are most vulnerable among us, our dear children. We pray that we will continue in this great effort. <laughs> thank you, Elder and Sister Bangater. On behalf of UNICEF, I would like to extend a huge thank you and the appreciation for this donation. Thank you to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Together, this donation will go towards helping every Filipino child. Thank you. And now for Hero Foundation, may we call on Elder and Sister Che to present the check. Thank you. On behalf of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints, we present the check to Hero Foundation, represented by General Victor Bayashi to assist them in their effort to help military orphans. Thank you, Hero Foundation, for lighting the world for military orphans as you help educate and rear them. Thank you very much. On behalf of the 260 military orphans beneficiaries of Hero Foundation, Thank you very much for the Light the World one by one on one project by the, the church, by the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter day Saints. Thank you. A big hand to our partners for all your great work. Truly, you exemplify the Savior's teaching to help and serve others. And especially, we also like to thank the Philippines Air Presidency for approving this Light the World Giving Machines Donation Project and for being with us this evening. We will now hear the messages of our partners, starting with Reverend Father Anton Pascual, Executive Director of Caritas Manila. He will be followed by Ms. Carly Snyman, Chief of Private Fundraising and Partnerships of UNICEF Philippines, and then General Victor Bayani, Executive, of, Executive Director of Hero Foundation. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. This is Father Don Pascual of Caritas Manila. In behalf of the poor of uh, the Philippines, especially the least, the last, and the lost that Caritas Manila is reaching out during this uh, pandemic crisis, we would like to thank uh, the Church of the Latter day Saints uh, of Jesus Christ, especially Elder and Sister Wakolo, for the donation that you have uh, given uh, our organization in behalf of uh, the hungry and the malnourished uh, Filipinos that are now suffering from this pandemic crisis. According to the government, 10% of Filipinos uh, became poor because of this pandemic so far and were added to the statistics of the poor in our country. And uh, Caritas Manila, quickly uh, raise the bar in our feeding and our uh, nutrition program of Caritas Damayan program. And uh, the donations that you gave us will truly reach out uh, to help alleviate the suffering of the hungry and the malnourished in the Philippines right now due to this pandemic. And of course, all the more 
the typhoon, uh, uh, great typhoons that visited our country recently that uh, affected all the more the suffering Filipinos. And uh, this Light of the World project truly um, helps spread uh, what we call in Caritas Manila spreading that charity virus. No? We don't want to spread the coronavirus. We want to spread that charity virus no? uh, because Jesus is the light of the world bringing uh, hope and uh, solidarity and healing and uh, fullness of life. That's why in Caritas Manila, uh, we promote uh, the Caritas uh, Christi uh, get knows the, the love of Christ impels us no? to raise the bar uh, in this pandemic. St. Augustine says, uh, sometimes God allows evil not to punish us, but for a greater good. And perhaps a greater good that, that should come out from this pandemic. We become more loving, we become more generous, and we be become more uh, men and women for others. So in behalf of Caritas Manila, we would like to thank once more uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints for this uh, trust that you have given Caritas Manila. And rest assured, every cent of this donation will go to reach out to the hungry and the malnourished children, children and poor families in our country. God bless you more. And in Tagalog, salamat po at pagpalaing kayo ng poong may kapal. Apologies. You would think by now you would un get to know the use of Zoom, right? Um, Elder Taniela and Sister Wakolo, Elder Stephen and Sister Suzanne Bergender, Brother Jairus Perez, and the leadership of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and the whole membership, thank you very, very much for your spirit of generosity by way of this donation to answer to the victims of the last typhoons we had. This partnership with the Church of Jesus Christ and UNICEF is a proud partnership globally for seven years now. And here in the Philippines, through the giving machines, it's been three years. We're extremely honored that we have this global partnership that allows both organizations to help the most vulnerable children and families across the globe. As stewards of this donation, trust that these funds will be used for life-saving emergency supplies, such as water purification kits and hygiene kits containing basic essentials. Also, learning kits so that children can continue their education and lastly, UNICEF tents for child-friendly spaces and nutrition monitoring support. Together, we can help thousands of children in the Philippines and internationally. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. As you know, Hero Foundation was one of your chosen beneficiaries for, for the Light the World Giving Machine campaign last year. And we are very grateful for the opportunity. This wonderful initiative was able to help our scholars and through your support, Hero was able to continue honoring the sacrifice of our fallen soldiers and send their children to school. This year, we are challenged by the unexpected events that have greatly affected our lives from the Taal explosion to the COVID-19 pandemic and now the damages brought by the typhoons that have hit our country. But with the grace of Jesus, we are here today. As grateful as we are last year, sharing the same goal of giving life and hope to others. Maybe opportunity does not come knocking twice, but we are now sure that the blessings do. This year's support of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints through the Light the World Giving Machine campaign has brought Hero so much hope, not just through the monetary provision, but the hope that there are still many people who have generous and loving hearts. We are proud to share with you that many of our Hero graduates who are nurses, doctors, Healthcare and uniform personnel are now giving back and serving in the front lines. These individuals are the product of the continuous support of individuals, organizations like yours, who believe in Heroes Foundation's advocacy to leave no children behind. As the challenges that were brought from the, by the changes that everyone has to adapt to seem to bring shadow over the dreams and hope that our scholars have May these circumstances remind us that these kids are children of our brave fallen soldiers 
whose hearts and spirits continues to live on through their legacy. Again, our heart, heartful gratitude to you and to everyone who continues to support the initiative. May, may you continue to be blessed, to bring more blessings, love, and light to other people's lives. Thank you very much. Saludo po kami sa inyong lahat. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and feelings with us. Being your partner for the last three years has been a joy to us. And we regard your work highly as you seek to bless lives and families. We are all God's children. We have the responsibility to help and care for each other. That's right. To add to the sweet spirit we have this afternoon, our Like Your World Ambassador, Zia Viger, will share her message. Hello everyone, my name is Sia Baigor. I'm happy to share a short message with you today. But before I do that, I would like to thank our partners, UNICEF Philippines, Caritas Manila, and Hero Foundation. I've seen how they have helped people, including kids like me. Today is a celebration of what they have done and will do in the future. Their organizations are an example of what the Savior has asked us to do. That is to serve one by one. It is also a reminder of this season's theme of giving and remembering others. And to add to that spirit, it would be my pleasure to introduce a dear sister who will play for us tonight, Becca Welch.
Thank you, Becca. Surely you have brought a sweet spirit through your musical performance. We hope each of us, young and old, can follow the example of our Savior. Yes, we can each help each other in our own way. This Christmas, we can end 2020 on a hopeful note as we serve and love like Jesus did. That's right. Again, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. But we would like to extend this challenge to everyone. This Christmas, how will you like the world? Now we wish to invite Elder Stephen Bangler of the Philippines Area Presidency to share his concluding message. And after his message, Sister Jamie Alvarez will offer the closing prayer. Thank you, Jairus, and thank you, Jasmine. The two of you have done a wonderful job as you've hosted a uh, gathering today. The birth of a baby boy in the humble setting of the manger over 2,000 years ago sets the stage for our gathering here today. This virtual gathering of like-minded individuals and organizations who have partnered together to relieve human suffering emulates the teachings of he whose life was lived for the purpose of causing the blind to see, comforting the downtrodden, healing the sick, and lifting those afflicted with the pains of mortal existence. Jesus Christ came to this earth as the light of the world, and in his ministry, he invited all to lay their burdens at his feet. When he taught, quote, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light." Close quote. Yet his teachings did not only invite all to come unto him, but admonished us to be like him, to love others the way he loves us, to serve others, the way he selflessly gave of himself for us. His admonition to all rings resoundingly in our hearts and our minds today. He said, I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. In that spirit, and as a representative of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, I express my gratitude to all who labor with our partners, Caritas Manila, UNICEF Philippines and Hero Foundation to bless the lives of those in need. May I share with you a brief story from each of these organizations illustrating how each has emulated Christ's selfless service to benefit and to bless the lives of others, beginning with UNICEF. Five o'clock a.m. on November 1st, Super, Super Typhoon Raleigh made landfall in Bato Catadwanas. Catastrophic winds with intense rainfall wreaked damage and flooding, caused flooding over South Luzon in the hours that followed. Within hours, humanitarian workers from UNICEF gathered to organize groups to travel to the hardest hit area to assess damage and organize relief efforts. Shortly thereafter, a Coast Guard plane landed in Barak, delivering a team of UNICEF workers, including Gio Lapina, to the grief-stricken grief area. The next morning, he visited Baras and Bato municipalities where he observed debris covering the roads. He observed destroyed homes and widespread destruction. There he met a young mother whose home had been destroyed. She held a neighbor's small baby in her arms, who she was caring for. Her small daughter stood at her side as she shared her tender story of the 2016 typhoon Nina that had destroyed her home. And now again, this super typhoon had done the same. Assessments of lack of clean water, lack of medication, food, and shelter were made. And by nightfall, UNICEF work regathered to meet with government officials to coordinate relief efforts, including the gathering and distribution of water, food, antibiotics, batteries, and soap and other items to bring relief to this dear young mother and thousands of others like her. Now on to Caritas Manila. The impoverished in the Philippines has grown 
by millions during the midst of this pandemic. To address these concerns, Caritas Manila has developed and promotes its efforts to care for those in need. For example, by inviting us to make our Christmas celebration more meaningful by supporting Christmas Charity 2020, a feeding and nutrition campaign to address hunger and malnutrition resulting from COVID-19 and the recent typhoons. Caritas Manila leads the way as they reach out to build leaders among those who struggle most by providing assistance with tuition and school fees, books, board and lodging, and food and transportation allowance. As a severely impoverished mother, Sally Pilos struggled to feed and protect her children. She recounts that she lived in constant fear of contracting COVID-19 or any other ailment that would prevent her from feeding and caring for her dear children. When she is able to work, she makes only 200 to 300 pesos a day. Upon learning of her anguish, Caritas Manila provided groceries and other items that enabled her little family to survive while her area went through strict lockdown. She tells of chicken bones provided with those groceries that lasted for a week and enabled her to cook adobo. She recounts, quote, I thought to myself, am I being punished? I didn't know what would happen to us. Boy, I'm grateful for the help provided through Paredes Manila. Now when asked if I feel fear, she said, I always say that as scared as I am, I have to muster up the courage to go out and work. And even though that alone, not enough to provide for my children, Caritas Manila has been there to help me make it through. Now on to Hero Foundation. For 32 years, Hero Foundation has made it their mission to ensure every military orphan is able to achieve their dreams. In the midst of this pandemic and where millions strive to cope, Hero Foundation continues to help these children of fallen, hero, fallen heroes by assisting them to be academic scholars. Joanna Denise Velasco and Jody Gillian Velasco are the latest additions to Hero's growing list of young scholars. Their father, the late Sergeant Jaime Velasco Jr. of the Philippines Army was among the soldiers who lost their lives in the line of duty during an incident in Polo, Sula, last June 29. Hero is assisting to sustain Joanna's dreams by providing assistance to continue to progress in, in her academia. Since 1988, Hero has supported over 2,000 military orphans by providing them with educational assistance, such as supplies and transportation mills and even gadgets and a portion of their tuition along the way. Our dear partners, Hero Foundation, Caritas Manila, and UNICEF, the service you render calls all of us to hearken back to the teachings of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who proclaimed, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your selfless, exemplary, humanitarian service. Truly your efforts lift up, lift up the hands which hang down and strengthen the feeble knees. My message today is one of hope and assurance. In these selfless acts of loving care, one for another, the Spirit of God fills our hearts and lifts our souls. Here we find a sense of hope and assurance. Assurance both in the strength of shared values and in deeply rooted faith, God's hand is upon this country and upon us, his children. These are the attributes of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, who came to relieve suffering promote peace, and light the world with his love. 
I express to you again our gratitude to partner with you in this great cause and pray for God's continuing sustaining blessings upon you in the sacred name of our Lord and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And you know, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.